Men's Basketball Weekly Update. The head coach, Eric Henderson, with us. It's nice to have you back in Brookings in the 605 because you've been road warriors here. Two games out in California, one game in Nebraska, eight days away from campus. What did you learn about your team during that three-game road stretch? Yeah, it's certainly good to be home, Tyler. There's no doubt about that. But uh, it, it was a good experience for our guys, to be honest with you. We knew it was going to be a challenging challenging deal, but uh, to go out there and certainly started the road trip off with a bang with our double overtime win at Bakersfield and and uh, really was excited and, and really proud of our guys for the level of compete that they had. And um, so when I look back at the whole trip and, and think about what did we learn, you know, I think I think our guys have a little better understanding like when, when you go on the road, whether you're at home or on your road, but especially when you go on the road, you better be ready from the tip and, and you have to compete for 40 minutes or 50 minutes, whatever the game is going to be that night. But um, I think just the level of concentration, the level of, of, of or maybe the approach that you have to take every single night. It's it's gonna it's gonna take a great effort and to do that for 40 minutes. So you know it was a learning process, like we knew it was gonna be, and and um, that's what we're gonna take from that trip. Uh, but it's good to be home. I know that. And again, similar thing to what we talked about with AJ this week too. The finished product has not been established yet. You're still feeling your way here through because it's so early in the season. There's no doubt. You know we're working on different lineups. Guys are getting opportunities at different times and. And uh, to our guys' credit, you know, they may have not played in one game, but then the next they're going to get a little bit more of an opportunity. And, and our guys are taking advantage of that. You know, they're hungry. And um, it's, it's important for them to stay in uh, the moment. And, 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 and when they do get that opportunity, to certainly take advantage of that. But uh, there's no doubt it's a work in progress. This is a young team that's, that's really inexperienced in green. And, and so to be able to get some of that experience on the court and uh, playing together and get it in the film room and learn from that. It's, it's a great time for our team just to work on ourselves and get better and better each time we get out. Another busy stretch coming up here. Three games in six days. You're home Tuesday, you're home Sunday, but you're on the road uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for the Thursday game at Arizona. So find out a lot more about this team here with this stretch. Yeah, no rest for the weary, my friend. It's uh, let's let's keep it rolling and and um, but it is good to be home in Frost Arena in front of our loyal fans and and uh, that certainly helps you get energy from the start. You know what I mean? You don't have to necessarily do it all all on your own. So that certainly helps. But our guys, you, you know, they're eager to get back out there too. And, and you know, you, you, you play and then you have a couple days off and hopefully you're learning throughout that whole process. Um, and then go, to go to Arizona certainly will be a challenge. And, and, um, but, but you got to concentrate and you got to compete for 40 minutes and let the chips fall, fall where they may. And you mentioned being at home, you'll be home Tuesday, you're home Sunday, and Sunday in particular on top of the game, uh, a neat addition to this contest that is near and dear to both of our hearts. Yeah, there's no doubt about it, an epilepsy awareness night. And, and uh, like you said, Tyler, certainly for both of us, certainly having family members and young children have to deal with that. Um, to be able to recognize that and just make an awareness that, you know, it's not the end of the world, but but there's some things you have to deal with and just it's it's really a special moment. And then certainly, you know, other people in our community on our team have dealt with the same deal. And just to be able to do something real small for that, it uh, really means a lot to a lot of people in our department, including you and I, my friend.